What up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Behind me is the R32 GTR. We're doing some more work on it, getting ready for our next track day, which is at Laguna Seca on July 30th. So um, we've got everything we need to get started here. 7-Eleven pizza uh, for Javi, and then the pads that I am using. These are the Endless Street Circuit uh, pads. MX-72, a favorite amongst a lot of Skyline guys, as well as track enthusiasts everywhere. So big thank you to our friends at Endless. Yaska's known them for quite a long time. They sent these over for me for free 99. So this one isn't costing me anything. All right, so the wheel is off. And if you remember from the earlier videos, we use a Brembo R33 GTR caliper, uh, front and rear. It's a bit of an upgrade from the stock Sumitomo ones. And these are the rotors from DBA. These are the pads that just came off. Uh, these are a stock factory R33 pad. This is just what they come with. So when I bought the calipers, it had really nice fresh pads on it. So enough pad length there, but switching over to these because the OEM ones are a bit cooked and glazed. And this is a nice carbon ceramic. That'll give me a lot more bite. Uh, these are the Endless MX-72. And if you want to pick these up for your Skyline, they're about 280 for a set front and rear. So not really expensive, not super cheap, but a really, really, really good option if you're looking for pads for the circuit. And you don't want the squeaky squeaks whenever you're driving around town. All right, so in the box are these high temp adhesive shims that go directly over the top here. They stick on nicely. So this plate has a rubberized coating on it. Helps with the vibrations and keeping some of the squeak noise down. So when you pad in, there's less moving around. Less vibration means less squeak, which means you don't get that annoying noise on the road. All right, so the pads are in, you can see by the blue of the endless that they're actually in. Um, pretty easy to take these off, nowhere near as complicated as the brakes on the Supra. So again, big up point if you are looking to do brakes on your 32. 10 out of 10 would recommend just using the ones off the 33. All right, so we're on to the rear brakes. Um, and basically there's these little pins uh, that hold those, the big pins in. And we gotta pull these out like that. This is what holds the pad in, presses it in. And then back here, we've got the pad. This one, pretty cooked. Again, uh, maybe a little glazed from ours day but we're not going to run into that with the endless ones. So we're gonna go ahead and put the endless pads in the back and we'll be done with the brake pads. As brakes are done, relatively painless and looking forward to testing these out, I'm not driving it tonight, but hopefully soon. And in the meantime, if you're looking to purchase a Skyline GTR of your own, we have a bunch of them. You can see them right behind me. We've got this Midnight Purple R33 GTR on bronze TE37s, or if you want to be super cool, we've got black 32s, we've got a silver 32, we've got a gunmetal V-Spec R32, a KG1 silver R32. This one is a bit of a different silver than that silver. You can see this one's a bit more bluish. That one is a bit more dark. And a couple other black R32 GTRs here. Mine is painted a different color black. This one has a more of a metallic to it. Uh, mine is a Porsche 993 Schwartz black, so no metallic in it. And uh, we've got Ken Mary's and a top secret R32 GTR over there. So lots of 32s here to choose from and a handful of 33s as well. Again, you can find all of these on our website, which is importavehicle.com. If you got any questions, shoot us an email, shoot me a DM or leave it in the comments below and I will do my best to answer everything for you. See you guys in the next one.